Hi, I'm Connie, and my channel is titled Cooking with Connie and More. Today, we're going to do more, and I would like to read to you my most recent blog post that I posted a couple of days ago. And by the way, I will put the address for my blog in the description under this video if you'd ever like to check that out. My blog, po my blog is titled God's Word, Our Destiny. WordPress.com. So the title of this post is Joy and Worship. Are you one of those people who chooses a meaningful word to go with you into the new year? I have been doing that for the past several years. I begin thinking about it and praying about it in December and usually have it locked in by January 1st. A few weeks ago, I decided that my word for 2023 would be joy. Then I decided to add to that another word, worship. I want to have joy in all things, and I want to worship more every day, to worship God in spirit and in truth, as we are told to do in Hebrews 11.6. And I believe that the two are closely related. When we worship God in spirit and truth, we are acknowledging who he is. Then, to imagine that this amazing creator of heaven and earth wants to concern himself with me is awe-inspiring. And it brings me to my knees and instills unspeakable joy. Just thinking about this causes me to burst out singing a song that we used to sing in church a few years ago. The song is titled, When I Think About the Lord. I will also give a link to that song at the end of all of this. I recently had the opportunity to make a decision to be joyful instead of oppressed, allowing myself to feel like a victim. Between circumstances and harmful words from a family member, I was pretty bummed out on Christmas Day. The fact that my husband and I could not be with family on that day didn't help either. I had plenty of reasons to throw a pity party for myself. Have you ever felt that way? It can happen to all of us. Then I reminded myself that my last two blog posts were about joy. And I should go and read one or both of those posts. Plus, there I was planning to have the word joy for my 2023 personal word, yet I was not rejoicing in all things. I went to my blog and read the post for December 21st of 2022. Yes, I have to admit it helped. I made a decision to be joyful in the midst of my mental and emotional pain. After all, Christmas is not about me. It's about Jesus, and I'm beyond grateful for his coming to earth to redeem me from sin. As I did this, joy and gratitude rose up in my spirit. Also, I began to worship God for his love and goodness, and I was genuinely joyful. Since then, it has occurred to me that making a decision to be joyful in the midst of unpleasant circumstances is an expression of faith. It is faith in action, literally believing and having faith in Him believing God and having faith in Him. That makes me happy because I know it pleases Him. I'm feeling like I'm bringing a smile to His face because in Hebrews eleven six, it says, But without faith it is impossible to please Him. For he who comes to God must believe that He is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Pleasing God 
is my life's greatest goal. Knowing that I've done something that pleases him and is an act of obedience to his word arouses joy from the depths of my being and draws me into worship. Now I understand that the joy of the Lord not only gives me strength, it also promotes worship in spirit and in truth. Joy produces worship and vice versa. Worship produces joy. Let's pray. Please join me in prayer. Oh, Father, thank you that joy in you strengthens me and causes me to begin to worship you for who you are and for all you've done. Truly, your grace is amazing, and I'm overwhelmed by your love. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. In the wondrous name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening in as I read my blog post for today. And at the bottom of all this, I'll give you a link to my blog in case you'd ever like to check it out. And I will also give you a link to that song. It's a pretty old song, and we used to sing it in church, and it's still one of my favorites. Also, I'm going to put in some scripture references that I referred to in this post to... Uh, give me strength and to give me the words and to help me have understanding of what this is all about. I appreciate you checking in today. God bless you and Happy New Year. I hope it'll be a joyful one for you no matter what goes on. God bless you.